Right, so you might have noticed in the previous uh, kicking strategy video that I was winning scrums against the level 92 despite being at level 8 myself. So let's take a look at how to get that working. So if you go and look at your forwards, okay, the two strat uh, stats you obviously want to be focusing on here are scrum strength and scrum coordination. So we're just going to talk about how these two uh, interact with each other. So obviously, with numbers 1 to 8, you want to have your scrum strength maxed. So you'll see all my forwards have max strength and uh, max scrum coordination. So it's all of them 1 to 8. So that's as good as you can get for that. Then in terms of your strategy, uh, your main strategy, so if you look at mine over here under scrum aggressiveness. Okay, so this strat now, this becomes very important because uh, the better you are at your scrum control, or what is that stat called again? I always forget. Uh, scrum coordination. So the better your scrum coordination is, the higher you can set this uh, scrum aggressiveness. So it used to be that you could just bump that up to 100% if your, your scrum control was good enough. That's not the case anymore though. So if you set it to 100%, you will concede a lot of penalties, which is obviously not ideal. So you want to find uh, that golden zone where you're winning more scrums than what you're conceding penalties. And in general, if you're playing against a, a good opponent, so someone who has also got uh, good uh, scrum aggressiveness and scrum control, you want to set this to about 80 something. And uh, if you can, your opponent is quite bad at that, you can bump it up to maybe 90, 92 or so. So those two work quite well. Uh, so if you want to do it on a person-to-person -person basis, you'll just have to see basically in-game, if you're conceding too many penalties at scrum time, you just lower your scrum aggressiveness. And if you're losing scrums but not conceding, you want to increase again. So just basically find that golden zone where you are more likely to win a scrum than you are to concede a penalty. It's decent. Uh, so for me, generally, with my maxed stats like that, 91% yeah, works quite well. You will still concede penalties against other people who have good scrum stats. So you actually need to change this depending on your opponent. So for me, if I'm playing against someone decent, uh, I'll be lower at about 87. And against someone who's not that great, I can push it up higher and still win the scrums without conceding any penalties.